some Marvin art. We're going to do something fun today that might not work. So, do you remember a couple weeks ago I used that like pottery squeezy tube and it was very messy to fill and everyone's like, why don't you just use different squeezy bottles? So, let me tell you why. First of all, so I got these at Michael's. They're very hard, not squeezy. And you know, the hole's pretty big, but I'm gonna use them for something else. But someone did suggest like puffy paint things. Again, cause you want that <laughs> suction back up when you're like hand painting with it. So that could be a good thing. This, so anyways, I got these at Michael's. I filled up three of them, greens. I was really inspired the other day. I saw these like oranges and pinks together. And I wanted to make a lot of leaves and like little tiny blooms if I can, okay? So for the leaves, I have Amsterdam Teal, Hobein Shadow Green, and TLP uh, Aspen, okay? Now, let's talk about color. I kind of went overboard. I'm keeping it really warm. So here are the four greens. Uh, I merged them together a little bit. So let's start over here on top of this vi uh, Hobein Mauve. Okay. I put, you know, I always need an interference. I put TLP Comet, which is like a red interference. I want to keep everything really warm. Okay. This is TLP Harvest Gold. This is Azo Orange. This is is Amsterdam Venetian Rose. And this is the new TLP Rose. I was going to add this into the mix, but it really throws off everything else. So I'm leaving it out. I really do find layering my colors on a tile first to get a visual is super uh, helpful. So I am going to be using my skewer today. Um, and I think I'm going to do like many little dots, okay? And then pull them through. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go have fun. Okay, before I like do dots everywhere, why don't I start with a simple one first, see how it goes, and then go from there. This is, or it needs a little mix up, my Gligny Essentials eggshell. Uh, which just separated a little bit. I'm going to start now. I leave this open for three days to thicken up because for me, I do not like it. It's too thin. It doesn't hold nice juicy blooms up very well right out of the can. Okay. So remember, I don't want too much. So I'm really going to be careful with what, how much, like really minimal at first. You know what I mean? But I'll take this and we will draw. See, like it didn't look like a lot, but it's quite thick. Okay. So what I want to do is make little, I like make little cute leaves around a bloom. Okay. And the way let me just make sure there's still not too much. No, I think we're pretty okay. Um, because I really don't want to spin too much. I might put like a little bit more in the middle to hold uh, up my bloom. But okay, what I'm going to do first. Ooh, I'm going to layer my colors first, okay? Then I'm going to do my green dots. Then I'm going to blow out. Then I'm going to shape, no, I'm going to do my bloom, blow it out, then do my green dots and make shape. You can see I've really planned well. Um, why don't I put just like a little touch because I don't, I want to make sure there's a good, yeah, see a good pillow for the bloomy. Now let's talk about Larry. I haven't even thought about it. You know, I don't like orange is not my jam, but do I really want it right at the bottom? Not necessarily. <sighs> what do I want? Um, all right. Why don't I start then? 
with rosé. And we're going small, Lisa. Okay, like, look it. Isn't that so small for me? Okay, we have the rosé. Um, I suppose I can just do a bit of this. I'm going to do only a little because it is opaque, I believe. Yes, it is. Just a touch. Okay. Then I'll do my orange. Okay. Like a little bit. Then I will do, so hold on. And like what, I, I'm going to use white cell activator. So I have to think about that too. I'm going to use my gold. And in that case, if I'm using white cell activator, I've got to be careful here. Um, and in that case, I'll top it with the pink. So I'm gonna also go in right now with the Comet. Okay. Now I'm not putting my cell activator down yet. How we do it is, it's a little thick. Fix her up a bit. So once I do this, I'm gonna guesstimate kind of how much, how far I'm gonna blow, which is also kind of difficult. You know, but let's see. I can even do a double saw activator. Okay, so let's say, um, let us say I'm gonna put, do a circle, all right? So here we go. I'm gonna start, and because it's not squeezy, it's kind of annoying, these bottles. Um, I'm gonna start around here. Squeeze. I don't know, right? This dumb could be dumb, but you never know until you try. I don't want them too big either, I think. Again, I've never done this before, so oops. We're just gonna go with the flow as we do. Now, oopsie. Okay, let's not go too fast. I was gonna say, you don't wanna to take too long doing it per se, but whatever, we're just experimenting, right? Okay, let us go then with the emerald. Yeah, definite, don't get these bottles. Get more of a squeezy bottle that, um, I'm gonna like put a bit off to the side, you know? That's easier to squeeze. Okay, and then I'll top it off with like a touch of teal, right? Oh my God, is this gonna be ugly? These could be too close, by the way, but again, we're not panicking, okay? I'm going for the two-hander now. All right, hmm. We did something, now there is, a buble there. Now, I'm gonna go double cell activator. I'm gonna go dark, Payne's gray, and then my titanium white, which is just Australian Floatrol and Amsterdam titanium white and Amsterdam Payne's gray. So, a little bit. I'm just gonna blow like normal and not even care about those dots and see what happens. You know what I mean? Okay, here we go. Uh, don't like my blow there. Uh, that pillow, I hate that. Cool colors. I love these colors. My blow was stupid, but let's not panic yet, okay? So this is where my idea, I'm gonna take the thick, okay, this, you know me, this annoys me to no end, but whatever. Um, okay. These dots did get bigger, so I probably would use a finer tip. Squeezy, okay? But we're still having fun. We're not panicking. Now I'm gonna see the difference between the thin side. Although I'm gonna use the thick side for this one because we gotta take it far. 
okay? Now, this annoying part. This could be very ugly. Okay, I'll go with the thin side for a minute. Uh, I like the thick side better, but it's good for a finer work, I guess. Well, I don't know, like, we, ooh, one more. Because my blow could be stupid. I mean, sorry for the bad language. If there's children watching. Um, I like the idea, I love these colors. Okay, let me move my paints out of the way. So we can spin this weird thing. Okay, here we go. Like, this is weird, but whatever. Let's just go for it. Okay. Maybe I'll just do a bloom <laughs> with these colors without this weird, like, what is this? No one's gonna like this, it's like too busy. It'd be cool if it was like, you know, one, like, not all the way around, like, that's not a composition we're looking for, you know? Like, I, yeah, I want that side off anyways, but. Um, like, I'm kind of onto something, but I just didn't really execute. Like, well, it's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Is it kind of cool? Possibly. We're definitely gonna try something again. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not very mad at her as I was in the beginning. Um, the colors are kind of cool. Um, so, okay, fine. All right, let me do a close up of this. I'm not gonna judge her yet. Uh, and then we're gonna do another something. Like, it's kind of neat. I don't know which way I would look at it. That's the other problem that it's a little wonky delicious, but uh, this way, I guess. All right, I'm gonna do a close up. Be right back. Okay, I'm gonna do this one better for many reasons. Number one, I, so I'm just looking to see if there's any bloops. Number one, I'm not gonna put as much green around and not be a maniac. Is that a bloop? Uh, number two, I'm not going to use, if I'm gonna stretch it out a lot, I'm not gonna use a pigment so I don't, if it stretches out too much, it begins to flocculate. So perhaps I'll just do the shadow green and teal because there's enough sparkle in the blue. Number three, I'm gonna blow better, meaning I'm, I'm gonna put more paint down. Uh, number four, I'm gonna do an off-center bloom. I always say that, but who knows? And then maybe put just like two leaves on either side, you know? Lots of plans. I really liked my layering colors. Love. Don't remember. Oh, yeah. Started with rosé. Oh, and I'm not even going off center, silly girl. Fine, I'll go kind of off center. Okay, so we have the rosé. We have the rose, whatever it's called. Okay. We have the orange in here. Then I have the 
Comet, which, oh, I haven't used in so long. It is the bomb. Like, okay, and then after this, I'm just gonna forget the green and just do a serious bloom, right? Because these colors are just delicious. Okay, and did we like the Deborah, Deborah Selectivator? No, like maybe, let's keep it light. Oh, I'm not doing anything. Am I doing anything yet? Yes, I am doing something. And then I'm gonna drop some greens. Okay, ready? We're just gonna like blow like a normal person. Nothing crazy. Right? Oh, that comet. Yes. That just, oh, you know what I mean? I wish you could see what I'm seeing right now. It's like so divinely delicious. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it slightly, start getting its thing going, and then when it's halfway spun, I will add the greens. So pretty. I know you guys can't, I don't think you guys can see yet the um, comet. Okay, so right now you're like, oh, it's like pretty boring. You're correct in saying that. Okay, so hold your horses. Now, we have to think, where do I put the greens? Uh, well, let's see. It would be kind of cool, since there's nothing here, to like kind of move them up this way at least, right? Okay. So I will grab my shadow green, okay, and squeeze it out. God, I definitely would get a new color. I mean, a new squeezer, okay. Shadow green, shadow green, I don't know, okay. Then at this point I might do, I'll go back to the Aspen because I don't have to spin it out like crazy. And I'll make sure the Aspen is kind of on top. Okay. And then I'll put the teal. I can even put the teal to the side, it doesn't matter. But I'll put it on top. Okay, oops. Then I have to figure out what so i could have done dots which i didn't do um so now i'm gonna take the thin side at first mm. let's start with the thick side okay i don't want to bring too much pillow paint i don't want i'm trying not to touch the bottom okay i'm not seeing much um pigment on the side here. Oh, there's some maracas going on. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're going to do here. I could bring this up, you know? I could bring this up. I could. <laughs> bring this up like this and then I'll do that okay and now we'll do the same thing like this okay alrighty you don't have to play with it too much as you spin it out um, they will mix together, but I do want to just make sure 
You know what I mean? This part kind of looks cool. I don't know. Um, I want to do something with this. Point right here. Okay, and this point right. I don't know. All right, let's spin it. Let's see how we're going. Yeah. And I don't even need to spin it that much. I'm going to turn it around just a little bit. Okay. All right. Well, this <coughs> kind of worked a little better. You guys will tell me what you think. Because we didn't need so much green. I just think it's kind of cool to have a bit of that um, contrast, right? Okay, let me do a close-up of this one. And then we're going to really go at it with these warm colors. I'm going to forget the green for now. I think we kind of did what we could with it, maybe. I'm not hating it, which is nice. I'm going to pop this boob light. All right, let's do a close up and get to the next one. Okay, I just grabbed whatever colors I already have mixed up. This is a custom color I made. And then you're saying, how did you make it? I don't remember, it's just a warm purple. Okay, uh, so there, <laughs> and this looks like magenta to me, so that's what we're gonna do. I should put on another glove. I'm just gonna do like for this a regular bloom. I just want to see those colors shine. I know. Are we getting bored of regular blooms? I don't know. Could be. But we're gonna do one anyways. I just really want the. I'm just so excited to use Comet again because I did used to use it so much and it was one of my faves. And you know, you kind of like move on to new things and then you, f you go back to it and you're like, oh, no wonder. You get excited all over again. Oh, yeah. So, here we go. Um, perfect. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just do. Am I just boring doing the same old bloom? Oh, it could be very boring. But we're just going to do it. I just want to see these colors. And am I doing a side bloom? No. <laughs> All right, we've got rose. You're cute. We've got this one. Okay, we've got our orange. Okay, we've got our gold. I'm gonna do, maybe I don't need that magenta. I'm gonna do the dark purple. Then I'm gonna do Comet. I started just adding one, one tubey. Okay. And I'm going to top it with this. All right. Let's see if it makes a difference, right? Okay. Cute. Oh, I think this is gonna go mental. Oh, got a delivery. It's gonna protect us. Okay, love. And I love the addition of this dark purple. So, yep, I love it. Okay, so I am gonna just fix the, like a bit of, you know, I love this. I did blow into the pillow. I think one of my paints is too thick, but we're not gonna complain. 
You know what I mean? And oh, Elliot's calling. <laughs> She's calling our cleaning lady. Um. Okay, we're gonna continue like this. This is so pretty. I'm happy. Really happy with this one. Oh, she's gonna move her car. We just had a big snow. So I had to pick Mo up early from school yesterday. It was so icy. He was hoping he was gonna have a snow day today, <laughs> but he didn't. Okay, I love this. This color combo, holy cannoli. Okay, are you ready? <sighs> Let's go. So pretty. I'm definitely loving that dark uh, purple on top. And I just want to keep playing with this color combo. You know? Ugh. The violet and the comet together are just so pretty. Don't fall off. Um, <clears throat> this is just cute and pretty and like a plain bloom, but I'm glad I did it because some plain blooms can be pretty and just plain and you know what I mean? Really cute. I think this is my favorite one so far. Okay. One little spin. I'm going to do a close up <coughs> and then... Why don't I just do like a little hair dryer one for fun and see what happens. Although, so I'm happy with this, so, but I do want to play with this one more time. It's so pretty. Okay, be right back. Okay, last one, and I'm going to use my little hair dryer. Um, I'm just putting the attachment on. This is the one I bought for Dutch Pores that Canela told me to buy, you know, the Drew Barrymore one. Really cute. Put it on Amazon. But I figured use it for a bloomy too. Why not, right? Um, do I want to change things up a bit? Mm -hmm. Nah. But I will do like, you know, mm -hmm. Hmm. Right? You never know. A little more. Okay. By the way, I think this is gonna be my last video. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> He really does not like when people come to the book. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, this is my last video of the year. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your holidays and have a wonderful new year. I am off to California. I am probably there as you are watching this. So we're excited about that. Um, there you go. Okay. Mm. Oh, yes. The most important. I'm going to start down here because we're getting kind of lumpy up there. Okay. Then I'll top it off with this and then we'll, you know, see what happens. All right, so I'm not gonna put my style activator <coughs> over everything. I'm gonna just start here, okay? Uh, just like that. Okay. Uh, that's because I plugged it in. 
Lisa Marvin. Okay. Thank you. No? Come on. Holy moly. Thank you. Oh, my cell activator disappeared already. Okay. You know what? Uh, I don't like this one. I couldn't find my cell activator. What could I waited too long? That's a good point of not leaving your cell activator too long before you blow. All right. Well, I mean, those are cute. But obviously, that's a zero possibility. Don't worry. We'll do something. Let me just focus on this guy first before we panic. Okay, we're mouth blowing. Those bloom vines, I guess. Pretty blue. You know? Now, very cute. This has gone not as horrible. I could like just do this here. Right? <clears throat> and then pretend that there was no problemo. Um, like this is the only annoyance, but like, why don't I just take my skewer, you know? And like, do whatever I wanna do. More ruckus happening down here. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, not horrible. Like, I've kind of fixed, like, you know, it doesn't really bring your eye to it. Okay. And we're going to go like this, you know, fix those edges a little bit. I'm not so worried about this. This is going to spin off. Um, listen, right? Okay, this video has been long enough. Let us... <laughs> spin it and hopefully win it, right? <clears throat> so what have we learned? Make sure your hair dryer is plugged in before you put the cell activator down. There's one little that's bugging me right here. It's always a good tip. Um, yeah, cute, right? Okay, so Tell me, to recap, I know we did a lot. I guess the, like, I guess the first green one's a little too weird. Like at first I thought it was like whimsical. <coughs> um, tell me what you think of the green one. Again, like I didn't, I wasn't like, oh, this is amazing. I've done exactly what I've wanted, obviously. Um, but maybe it's inspired you to do something fun and different. I hope so. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you like me, you can do that. You can join my Patreon for fun perks and tips and things like that. You can do many things. <laughs> um, okay. I think here she is. Like, cute. She'd go cute with her sister, the bloom. All right, I'll do a close-up. Tell me what you guys think. I hope you guys have a very happy new year. Happy holidays. I really do love you guys. And so excited for all the exciting things that is going, that is, no, that are going to happen for all of us in the new year. Bye.